Hello, welcome to Hooked on Tool. Today, we will tell you about the all-important Matic. We will discuss how to use a Matic, how to clean and sharpen this tool to get the best results, and what makes it different from your regular pickaxe. Matic is a very important hand tool used for digging, prying, and chopping. Similar to the pickaxe, it has a long handle and a stout head which combines either a vertical axe blade with a horizontal adze, or a pick and an adze which is called a pick mattock. We are using the simpler one-sided mattock to explain its uses. Mattocks are classified as the most versatile of hand planting tools. They can be used to chop into the ground and pull the soil towards the user, opening a slit to plant into the ground. Mattocks should be used gently, and one should never push a mattock too hard into the ground. You should never try and use it with a lot of force, and also make sure that you never raise it over your head. Doing this can cause a serious injury. Instead use it more like a chopping and organizing tool. They are used by farmers and gardeners all over the world. Mattocks come in all kinds of different shapes and sizes. They can also be used to dig holes for planting into, and are particularly useful where there is a thick layer of matted sod. As you can see here, the soil is pretty dry and hard, but a sharp mattock would easily chop into the surface and dig the soil very effectively. They are also used for excavations and soil inspections done by experts. The sharper your mattock, the better results you will get. The sharpness of these tools can decrease over the passage of time. The edges and the blades can get a bit very and rusty, and their sharpness is compromised. There are quite a few ways to keep the blades sharp and efficient. Make sure that the mattock is stored in a dry and rust-free place. If you want to sharpen the mattock, one way is to use the metal sharpening machine or a metal grinder. Make sure you sharpen both sides and the edges on the blade. If you do not have a metal grinding machine, that's not an issue. You can use a metal filer to sharpen your mattock. The filers are really effective if used correctly. They often come without a handle, and you can add a handle for better grip and application. First, clean the tool and make sure that there is no dust, sand or loosened rust. Then use the filer thoroughly across the face of the blades on both sides. Also, make sure that you sharpen the edges and corners to get the best results with the mattock. Although the mattock is a very common tool, a new user often finds it hard to differentiate between a mattock and a pickaxe. So this is actually what a pickaxe looks like, it also has a long handle, but has sharper and smaller edges. Mattocks, as you've seen, are used for chopping and softening the soil, but if you are digging the soil deeper, you may often find rocks that need a pickaxe to be broken. The pickaxe is used to force your way through ground rocks and harder surfaces, and are also very widely used by all kinds of workers. The pickaxe should never be used with a closed grip, and one should always keep both hands wide apart on the handle and apply the tool with force. To break rocks, stones, or bricks, always use the sharper side of the pickaxe. Once the blockage is cleared with a pickaxe, you can use the mattock on the soil. We hope you learned from this video and have a better idea of a mattock's utility. Please watch more videos to learn about all kinds of tools, and don't forget to watch and subscribe.